Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Nastin Padasale. So in this video, I am going to share with you what is a minimum mark to qualify the joint CSCR UGC NET examination under physical science. So before entering into knowing the minimum mark, let me clarify you who decide this minimum mark means. This national testing agency only will decide this minimum mark that is nothing but cutoff mark. Previously, the exam was under the control of this Human Resource Developmental Group, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. But you know from 2019 onwards, this NT has taken the responsibility and they are also convert the examination into computer based test. So here you should know how many people apply for this lectureship under physical sciences sorry JRF under physical sciences so this is a physical sciences so here you can able to see nearly 22,000 has applied for physical sciences so I can say approximately 30,000 students will apply for this physical sciences that also under this junior research fellowship my personal suggestion is that if you are a MSc candidate then uh, you should currently if you are pursuing your MSc physics or currently if you are pursuing your uh, completed your MSc physics degree means then you should attempt your exam under this JR category only. Don't target for this LS category because since there is no age limit for this LS category, person with many different age, say if the person is 70 years, he or she will have a enough amount of knowledge. So the competition is very much higher. So that's the reason why I'm saying you to apply physical sciences under JRF category because the cutoff, even though the cutoff won't show that much drastic differences, that will be two to three points only lesser. So let me show with you what is the minimum mark to qualify the joint CSR examination under physical sciences under JRF category. So before entering into it, let me show how this minimum mark to qualify the exam will be decided by NTA. There are four factors. Factor number one is the total number of students applied for the examination. Say if there are 10,000 students has written the examination, that the cutoff will be around 35 marks. This is an example mark. Say instead of 10,000, the next year many students will get more awareness about the exam and instead of 10,000, 50,000 students have supplied the examination means, uh, have written the examination means the cutoff will be around 50 marks. And second factor is the difficulty level of exam. The question paper is very easy, the cutoff will be very high. Instead of the question paper is very tough, the cutoff will be very, very low. Okay, and also pray for the question paper to be very tough because this is a really advantageous for all the average study student or slow learners because they have a enough amount of chances of clearing the examination. Next factor is the mark scored by the topper. Yes, more the mark, the more the cutoff will be. Okay, and the last factor is the past year cutoff trends, which I had made you. Here I had given a last 11 years of the cutoff trends in physical sciences. Okay, physical sciences is showing somewhat drastic changes, say, December 2015, the cutoff was 38 point, sorry, 36.88 percentage. Whereas if you take June 2018, and then the cutoff goes to 54.63 percentage. So it is not a constant one. It is keep on changing, and there is a there is no consistency in determining the cutoff trends. Okay, so I had made you category wise cutoff. E EWS I had made them as a blank because EWS came into force in June 2019 examination only. So since the exam is for 200 marks, it will be more helpful for the student if I had converted all the percentage into mark. So here I had given you mark that you should take that currently given as a cutoff. These are officially released each year. So for 200 mark, what is a mark? So this is for your analysis. So from this analysis, I had made a compiled thing. So what is the minimum mark to qualify the joint CSCR UGC net physical sciences under this JRF category? So if you are a general category, then for 200 mark, you should get 85 to 120. And if you are EWS, then you should get 100 mark. That is 50 percentage you should get. For 100 marks, you should get 50 mark. Then for 200 mark, you should get 100 mark. For OBC, a target should be 80 to 100. And for AC and ST, your mark should be between 70 to 90 out of 200. This is not out of 100. And person with disability, second 25 percentage. So why I had given two extreme means the question paper is easy then out of 200 you should aim for 120 mark that should be your target and the question paper is tough then for 200 you should at least aim for writing for 85 to 90 and there are many advantages of knowing this minimum mark before writing an examination friends first thing is that you can get yourself saved from negative marking because many people will fail to clear the CSER examination because they will be overconfident or else they will be give answer for all the question and this makes them to provide the negative marking and even though uh, you should calculate the mark so an examination is for three hour means within two hour itself you will write your examination 
So it still you have one hour time for. So in that one hour, you should take a scribbling pad and you should put a question number. And near to the question number, you should put a option. Question number one, four ma. I had given a correct option like that. Correct, you should put question number two, not attempted. Question number three, not attempted. Question number four, four mark like that. You should put for all the question that you had attempted. Okay, at last you need to calculate for two hundred mark how much mark you are getting if you are in a safe zone or if you are in a danger zone. Say if you are a general candidate and if you are getting one forty mark out of two hundred, then you should stop at that time point itself. Don't be greedy to attempt more question, more question because uh, say if you are attempt uh, for two hundred mark you. Or attempted for 140 question, but that after attempting, if you are revisiting a question paper, that makes you to give a negative mark. Okay, but instead of that particular mark, you are getting only 60 mark out of 200. Means you need to say you are in a danger zone. At least you should work hard in the next year, or at least you should revisit the question paper in the examination hall itself, so that you should attempt for those question only with the. Uh, Risk of you, okay. So uh, if you are having fifty percent confident about that particular question, then you should start to attempt that particular question. And all. So it's a really a different concept. If you want, I'll share with you how be smart enough to attempt question in the examination hall. Though this is for physical sciences, JRF candidate. Thank you, friends.